After months of the banks virtually photocopying each other's statements after each Reserve Bank generated interest rate rise, the National Australia Bank has broken ranks. Left behind during the great first home owner buyer stampede that was dominated by its large rival Westpac, the NAB has now followed up on its abolition of its hated overdraft fees by taking a shot at arguably the strongest of the four pillars holding up Martin Place. The miners I've spoken to though say that any profit that was the 10-year Commonwealth bond would be anemic. In fact, most projects would never get off the ground if that was the threshold that they were to meet. If it's scaremongering, some of this. And Greg's right across all of those issues from his experience and background, so we're delighted to have him in the team. Nevertheless, that's an interest for you at the moment, moving into utility and distribution of power? The, the, so far, our, our only sort of foot in the door has been to... Um... A lot of the small, smaller miners, they say, look, you know, we, we don't go into this business to make losses just so we can avoid a tax. We go into it because we want to become a Fortescue, and that's what the UBS guys are saying as well. Uh, so considering that is the basis of the government saying that it's going to expand the mining sector, uh, certainly a lot of people in the industry uh, aren't so confident about uh, what it's going to do for smaller miners at all, Brooke. A recent book says that Kerry Packer let his son James take the fall when it came to the failure of OneTel. Is that part of succession planning, to be able to, even when it's your own flesh and blood, let them take a hard hit? I think that succession is a multitude of things. Transurban has thrown its hat in the ring when it comes to the Lane Cove Tunnel in New South Wales. Now, low traffic numbers, high debt, what is it about this asset that you find attractive? Oh, there's absolutely no attraction if we were to go in there and pay uh, what, what, what the construction cost was. So what are the main opportunities in the developed nations? If you're going to lure people away from this idea that only the BRICs offer opportunities, then how much do you need to overcome this perception that the developed nations seem at the moment at least to only be offering downside risk? What's important for all of us to recognise is not, you know, what necessarily the growth rate that's expected. How much do you think for other CEOs it was a matter of them protecting their reputations rather than giving what they truly thought was going to happen? Yeah, sure. There's a few interesting points in all of that. The banks almost seem to take turns at taking the heat on these kind of type of unpopular decisions. Uh, but the rest of them have probably all been looking to do something like this to recoup some of their funding costs and improve their profitability. Uh, now that Westpac's gone first, it'll make it much easier for the rest of them to do. I think it won't be too long before it happens. No, we will watch with interest. Kai Chow from the Business Channel. Thank you.